Like, I did you. This you. I'm gonna give an example. Right, this you. The camera is now focused on my finger right now to emphasize that I'm referring to you. This is you. You'd be like, mm, I need help. I need help. I need help. I don't want to ask the teacher because I don't want to. I don't want to seem stupid. I don't want everyone to laugh. At me. YouTube, what it do? It's so expensive, man. <laughs> So um, today I'm going to be talking about how you, how you can get an A star in A level math, right? So before I start, right, I just wanted to say that in terms of achieving an A star in A level math, it's all about understanding methods and learning how to apply those methods to solve exam questions, right? That's all math is about. It's all about methods. And applying the methods to design questions and coming to the correct answer. Alright, that's it. G. Once you understand the method, getting an A star is easy. It's light work. Alright, so let's get let's get straight into it. I've got my list right here. Tip number one. Tip number one. Pay attention in class and ask the teacher if you need help. Alright, see, this seems this seems pretty simple, but. It has come to my realization that people be needing help in class, but they don't want to be asking for help. They don't want to be asking for help. And this is you. This is you. I'm gonna give an example. Right? This is you. The camera is now focused on my finger right now to emphasize that I'm referring to you. This is you. You be like, mm, I need help. I need help. I need help. I don't want to ask the teacher because I don't want to. I don't want to seem stupid. I don't want everyone to laugh at me. So the. Shut the f up. Stop crying like a little b man. Ask for help, G. Why are you crying, G? If you need help, then you gotta ask for help, G. Cause I like, I, cause I, like I said before, math is all about understanding methods. If you don't understand the method that the teacher is trying to teach you, you gotta ask for help. You gotta ask for help, man. And then, and then there's you again. There's you again. You be, you be the guy next to me, right? You be the guy next to me. You be like, Yo, Spencer, can, can I ask you something? I'd be like. Yo, bro, what, what's good? What you wanna ask me, G? You be like, um, uh, so, so with this person, what do, what do I do? What do I ask, I'm not the teacher, G. Ask the teacher for help if you need help. If you need help, ask the teacher. Jesus, man. Yeah, so tip number one, you gotta pay attention in class and ask the teacher for help if you need help. Alright? That's tip number one, G. Cause like I said before, at the start of the video, Matt is all about um, understand the methods and know how to apply the methods to the exam question. If you don't understand the method, then you're screwed. Then you're screwed. Methods is the most important thing in math, man. If you don't understand the me if you don't understand the method, then you're screwed, G. You're not getting an A star. You're not. I'm sorry, you're not. You're not getting an A star if you don't if you don't understand the method. All right. So yeah, that was tip number one. Pay attention in class, and if you don't understand the method that the teacher the teacher is trying to teach you, then ask for help. Ask the teacher to 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 re to re teach the method to you. Alright, so that was tip number one. Tip number two: Straight after school, use YouTube and website to do exam questions and practice the method that the teacher was teaching you. Alright, so let's say I had, um, let's say I was learning differentiation in class, right? Straight after school, I'd go upstairs to the library and do exam questions on differentiation. I would literally search up on YouTube or search up on the internet on uh, exam questions on differentiation. Then I will use the method that the teacher taught me and literally do the exam questions and see if I come to the correct answer. If I come to the, if I get the correct answer, then I already know, I already know that I understand the method and I know how to attack this kind of problem. But if I don't get the correct answer, then that's when you go onto YouTube and you search up, ah, oh, you search up, you search up this, how to do differentiation. Or you search up differentiation, design questions and solutions. And basically you watch videos 
So this, this is what I would do, right? So if I don't, under, let's say I don't, I didn't understand defense system, I search up how to do defense system. Then usually the YouTuber would 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 literally do an exam question in front of me, right? So I would just watch the the YouTuber do one exam question and watch him do the the method to get the correct answer. Then when the YouTuber moves on to the next question, I'll literally pause the video, copy down the exam question, and attempt to do the same method that the YouTuber did and try and get the correct answer. And if I didn't get the correct answer, that's when I would then play the video, watch the YouTuber, go through the exam question, and identify where, where I went wrong. That, that, it's that simple to you. It's that simple. Search up on YouTube how to do differentiation or how to do differentiate uh, integration. Watch how the YouTuber does the question. Pause the video. Try and do the same method the YouTuber did or the, or the same method your teacher did and see if you get to the right answer. If you don't, play the video. Watch how the YouTuber does the question. Identify where you went wrong or where you misunderstood and then redo another exam question and see if you get the right answer. It's that simple, G. That simple. It's that simple. To get an A star, you have to understand the method. It's all about methods, G. It's very logical. It's all the steps, man. But once you understand all of the steps, it's easy to get an A star, G. Alright? And the YouTuber that I would use, his name was um, TL Mass. That was his name, G. And the website I would use was Masculine. Alright, these were the two resources I used, along with my teacher and and the resources that my teacher would give me. That's all I used to get to get an A star in math, man. And what you actually realize is that getting an A star in math is actually quite easy. It's only like like seventy percent. Yeah, seventy percent to get an A star. I think. I think if you get so with Edit Silver, you do three, uh, three math papers. And I'm pretty sure to get an A star, you just need 70 out, out of 100 in all three to get an A star. So you can afford to lose 30 marks to get an A star. So I can't lie, if you don't get an A star marks, then, then you're tapped. I can't lie to you, you're tapped. Because it's easy fun. But yeah man, that that was... that uh, Those were my tips on how you can get an A star. Pay attention in class to ask the teacher for help if you need help and use other resources to do exam questions and identify any mistakes that you made and correct them, alright? Like I always say at the end of my videos, if you grind, you'll succeed. If you do nothing, you'll stay the same G, alright? Let's get it man, let's go.